Here's a 10 minute look at how to make a feature film in Australia. Specifically, we're going to be looking at digital micro budget features for first time feature makers. So the first thing to do before embarking on a feature is to make a number of short films. It's a great way to learn very quickly the nuts and bolts of filmmaking. Now assuming you've already got some shorts under your belt and you're ready to do a feature, here's what I believe is the best way to attack it. Stage number one, development, or how I came up with the best screenplay ever written by me. There are two magic ingredients for making a good film. The first is the screenplay, so get your screenplay together. It needs to be an easy to produce screenplay. That means only one or two locations. Any more than three will mean a lot of time and energy, and therefore expense, in moving your production team around during the shoot. A change of location can cost you half a day in production time. Your script should also have a small number of characters, like three to five. Again, a smaller cast will keep your costs down. Also on this DVD is a feature on how to adapt a Shakespearean play. The good thing about old classic plays is that they have A, great structure, B, they don't cost anything, and C, they were designed to be performed on a stage, which usually means a small number of locations. Keep the screenplay to no more than 90 pages, which is approximately 90 minutes of finished running time. That is one page equals about one minute. Again, this will minimize your number of shooting days. But remember, the most important thing is don't move on to the next stage until the screenplay is ready. Stage number two, pre-production, or how I learned to become truly anally retentive. To make a good feature cheaply, you need a team. It's like soccer. You can't enter the comp until you've got a team. You and your team make up what I call the five generals. General number one, you, the director. Yes, I'm talking to you. General number two, your cameraman slash cinematographer. The three aspects of shooting a scene are A, operating the camera, B, directing the actors, C, getting the coverage. The temptation will be to shoot it yourself, but it's worth handing the camera over to someone with a good eye who can focus 100% on that job. This will leave you free to focus on the actor's performance and the blocking, that is the choreography of the actors in the scene. The third aspect, coverage, that is what angles you use to film the scenes, is something that you and your cameraman can collaborate on together. General number three, a good sound man. Good sound is vital to your film and often overlooked. People will watch a show on TV with a fuzzy picture, but if they can't make out what's being said, they'll switch off. Your sound guy needs to be prepared to own that job, to do all that is required to get that good sound live every day of the shoot. Bad sound will add months of time to the post-production process. How do you get good sound? It's in the planning, but more of that later. General number four, a producer. On a micro-budget feature, the producer is the fat totem. They take care of all the logistics, admin and management, of the crew and cast. For this you'll need someone with innate organisational skills. Look for a person who has all their CDs and DVDs alphabetized and catalogued. General number five, the production designer. This person will take care of all the props, set decorations and wardrobe. They'll also handle the marshalling of all these items during the shoot. That is making sure that everything you need for shooting the next scene is already on location and ready to go. So now that you've got your five generals, it's time for you to receive the secret to an efficient and speedy shoot. Preparation. You and the cinematographer have to prepare a detailed shot list for every scene. That is how many camera setups will we need to cover the scene for the various angles such that it can be quickly and effectively edited in post. To do this, you must visualize in advance how each scene will be assembled from various shots. Then it's like making a shopping list of those shots, which you take to the shot supermarket, that is, the shoot. Make sure you get everything on the list. 